Welcome to Monk's Wisdom. Have you ever stopped to consider the hidden teachings in the journey of your life, reflecting on how each step, each challenge, and each moment of clarity can transform your being and destiny? Have you felt the need to find a moment of calm in the relentless pursuit of success, wondering how discipline, perseverance, and personal discovery could change your trajectory and those around you? By the end of this narrative, you will embark on a journey of profound change. We are about to share with you a narrative that not only deepens your understanding of the power of resilience and the importance of living in harmony with the flow of life, but also inspires you to embrace growth, inner strength and compassion towards yourself and others. You will discover the story of Sora, a young individual in search of serenity and wisdom amidst life's ceaseless demands and his unexpected journey towards self-knowledge through the lessons learned in the silence of a monastery and under the guidance of a wise master. This story might shift your perspective on life and your role within it. If this story touches your heart, I look forward to reading about how it has influenced your search for inner peace and your efforts to foster a more empathetic and understanding community in the comments. In a remote region, where the sky merges with the mountain peaks and the pure air seems to whisper ancient secrets, lies the monastery of Zanshinkai. This sanctuary, hidden from the eyes of the conventional world, is known for harboring the wisest monks committed to spiritual enlightenment. Within this community, a young man named Sora was about to embark on a journey that would transform his life in ways he could hardly imagine. Since his childhood, Sora had felt an unbreakable connection with nature and a deep respect for life in all its forms. He spent his days in contemplation of the beauty around him, marveling at the eternal cycle of life. Despite the serenity he found in his environment, a restlessness burned within him, a longing to understand the deepest mysteries of existence. He had heard stories about the monks of Zanshinkai, beings who had reached a state of peace and wisdom unimaginable. Sora desired more than anything to reach this inner peace and discover the secrets of the universe that the monks guarded. As Sora grew, his desire to join the monastery strengthened. At the age of 17, he made the decision that would change his destiny. One morning, as dawn painted the mountain peaks golden, Sora bid farewell to his family and the life he knew. With little more than his determination for company, he began the arduous journey to Zanshinkai. The journey was long and fraught with difficulties. Sora traversed dense forests, climbed steep mountains and crossed turbulent rivers. With each step, he felt his old worries and fears dissipate, leaving room for a sense of purpose and clarity. Finally, after several days of travel, he arrived at the gates of the monastery. The monastery of Zanshinkai was more impressive than Sora had imagined. Built in harmony with the surroundings, its stone walls and thatched roofs seemed to naturally emerge from the ground, as if they had been there since the beginning of time. The monks welcomed him with a tranquility that calmed his restless spirit, and for the first time, Sora felt he had found his true home. The abbot of the monastery, an elderly man with eyes reflecting the depth of the night sky, approached Sora. Your search has brought you to our threshold, young seeker, he said, with a voice resonating with unwavering calm. But the path to enlightenment is arduous and requires total dedication. Are you prepared to face the trials that await you? With a heart full of bravery and eyes fixed on the elder, Sora responded without hesitation, I am ready. He did not then know the challenges he would face or the lessons he would learn. The only thing he knew was that his journey towards enlightenment had just begun. The following dawn marked the beginning of Sora's new life at the Zanshinkai Monastery. He woke up in his simple room, an austere cell with little more than a futon and a small wooden desk. The simplicity of his surroundings was a reflection of the spiritual path he had chosen, one stripped of worldly distractions to find the true essence of being. Sora's first weeks at the monastery were a mix of awe and challenge. Each day began before dawn, when the sound of a bell resonated through the silence, summoning the monks and apprentices to the meditation hall. Here, Sora learned the basics of Zen meditation, the importance of posture, focusing on breath, and the practice of emptying the mind of transient thoughts. Despite his enthusiasm, he found this practice incredibly difficult. His mind, accustomed to constant activity and distraction, 
wandered ceaselessly, filled with thoughts about the past and worries about the future. After morning meditation, Sora and the other apprentices participated in the monastery's daily work, which ranged from cleaning and maintaining the buildings to caring for the gardens and preparing meals. Through these tasks, Sora began to learn another fundamental lesson of the Zen path, presence and mindfulness in every action, no matter how mundane it seemed. However, the discipline required was something Sora was not used to. He often found himself distracted, longing for moments of rest or feeling frustrated by the monotony of daily chores. The physical trials were equally demanding. Martial arts training designed to strengthen both body and mind pushed Sora to his limits. The sessions were grueling and falls and blows were part of the learning process. On more than one occasion, pain and exhaustion made Sora question his decision to join the monastery. Doubt crept into his thoughts, whispering that he wasn't strong enough, that he didn't belong in this sacred place of learning and growth. It was during these moments of doubt that Sora began to discover the importance of community. The other monks, both young and old, approached him with words of encouragement, sharing their own stories of struggle and perseverance. They reminded him that every challenge was an opportunity for growth, that every fall was a lesson on the path to self-mastery. As weeks turned into months, Sora began to notice subtle changes in himself. His mind started to quiet during meditation, finding moments of true inner peace. Daily tasks transformed into mindfulness practices, each action a form of meditation. And in the dojo, each fall made him rise with more determination. Yet the real test was still to come. Master Kenji, who had been silently observing Sora's progress, decided it was time to take the young apprentice to the next level of his spiritual training. One morning, after meditation, Master Kenji approached Sora with an invitation that would change the course of his journey at Zanshinkai. After the morning meditation session, as the sun just began to disperse the dawn's chill, Master Kenji approached Sora with a serenity that seemed to emanate from his being. Sora, he said with a calm voice that immediately captured the young man's attention. The time has come to deepen your path toward enlightenment. Come with me. Following the master through the serene corridors of the monastery, Sora felt a mix of anticipation and nervousness. They ventured into a part of the monastery Sora had never visited, a beautifully maintained Zen garden, its simple and orderly beauty contrasting with the complexity of growth and learning Sora had experienced so far. In the center of the garden stood a solitary bamboo tree, its green foliage whispering with the morning breeze. Master Kenji stopped in front of it and pointed to the bamboo with a contemplative gaze. Observe this bamboo, Sora, he began, his voice as calm as the environment surrounding them. For years, it remains hidden underground, developing its roots. It shows no external signs of growth, but it is strengthening deep in the earth and when it finally emerges, it grows with astonishing speed and strength. Sora listened, captured by the analogy the master was drawing between the bamboo and his own spiritual path. Just like this bamboo, your efforts and discipline in the past months have been the strengthening of your roots. You may not always see external growth, but internally you are preparing to emerge strongly. Master Kenji turned towards Sora, his gaze penetrating yet filled with warmth. Patience and perseverance are essential, young Sora. Do not be discouraged by the lack of visible progress. Trust in the work you are doing now. It will lead you to achieve unimaginable heights. This moment in the Zen garden became a turning point for Sora. The teaching of the bamboo resonated deeply within him, offering a new perspective on his journey. The frustration and doubts he had felt began to dissipate, replaced by a renewed determination and patience. He understood that the path to enlightenment was not a race, but a journey of constant learning and growth, where every step, no matter how small, was crucial. From that day on, Sora embraced every task, every meditation practice and every training with a new vision. He saw each challenge not as an obstacle, but as an opportunity to strengthen his internal roots, preparing for the day when, like the bamboo, he would emerge with strength and resilience. Master Kenji's teaching in the Zen garden not only changed how Sora approached his daily practices, but also transformed his understanding of life. He learned to value the importance of patience and perseverance, 
not only in his spiritual quest, but in all aspects of his existence. This profound understanding of the bamboo's teaching guided him in the days to come, filling his path with a light of wisdom that would never fade. The following months at the Zanshinkai Monastery marked a profound transformation in Sora. The teaching of the bamboo had taken deep root, guiding every step he took on his path to enlightenment. He began to approach his daily practices not as obligatory routines but as precious opportunities to grow and strengthen his spirit. Meditation, once a battle against the scatter of his mind, became a refuge of peace and inner clarity. The monastery's chores previously seen as monotonous now were moments to practice mindfulness and gratitude for every lived instant. Sora's relationship with the monastery's martial art also evolved. He no longer saw it simply as a means to strengthen his body, but as a dance of balance between movement and stillness, a physical expression of the inner harmony he sought. With each fall and rise, Sora not only improved in technique, but also learned vital lessons about resilience and the ability to overcome obstacles both physical and mental. Master Kenji watched with satisfaction Sora's growth. The young man's determination and commitment to his spiritual path were evident in his demeanor and the depth of his practice. Sora had become an example for the other apprentices, inspiring them with his dedication and serenity. But beyond his influence on others, Sora experienced a profound internal transformation. He had found a source of strength and peace within himself that was not altered by external circumstances. On a quiet autumn afternoon, as the sun bid farewell with a sky dyed red and gold, Master Kenji called Sora to his side for a moment of reflection. Sitting together in front of the Zen garden, the master said, Sora, your journey is a testament to the power of transformation through perseverance and faith in the path. You have learned to embrace each moment with presence and gratitude, finding within yourself the peace and strength you once sought in the external world. Sora, with a humility forged in the trials and teachings of his path, replied, Master, every day in this place is a blessing and a lesson. I have learned that true strength does not lie in resisting life but in flowing with it, accepting and overcoming each challenge with serenity. Master Kenji nodded, a smile illuminating his face. So it is, Sora. And now you are ready for the next step on your journey, not as an end, but as the beginning of a new chapter in your quest for wisdom and understanding. That conversation marked the beginning of a new phase for Sora, one in which he would be sharing his light and learning with others, guiding them on their own path toward enlightenment. His internal transformation had blossomed like the bamboo, strong and flexible, deeply rooted in the wisdom of Zanshinkai, and ready to grow towards new heights. With the blessing of Master Kenji and recognition of his spiritual growth, Sora began to assume a new role at the Zanshinkai Monastery. Now, he not only continued on his own path of development and learning, but also became a guide for the new apprentices arriving at the monastery, seeking to find their inner peace and strength as he had done. This transition was not easy. Sora discovered that teaching and guiding others required an even deeper engagement with his spiritual practice. He needed to be constantly present, not just for himself, but also for those seeking his guidance. However, he found profound satisfaction in this service, seeing others grow, overcome their own struggles, and find a path to inner peace gave him a joy and a sense of purpose he had not experienced before. Among the apprentices was a young woman named May, whose internal struggle mirrored Sora's in his early days. Impatience and frustration often took hold of her, making her question her place in the monastery. Sora saw in May the echo of his own journey and decided to give her special attention, sharing with her the lessons he had learned, especially the teaching of the bamboo that had so profoundly impacted his life. May, Sora said to her one day as they walked through the Zen garden, true strength like that of bamboo is not revealed in rapid and visible growth, but in the patience and strength we develop inside ourselves. Patience is the key to understanding not just our spiritual practice, but every aspect of our lives. Under Sora's guidance, May began to transform her approach to meditation and daily practices. She learned to value the importance of each moment, 
finding peace in presence and mindful work. May's transformation was a testament to the impact Sora was having on the monastery community. Sora also got involved in organizing collective meditation sessions and discussions on spiritual texts, creating a space for the monastery community to share their experiences and learnings. These meetings became an important pillar for collective growth, strengthening the bonds among community members and deepening their understanding of Zen teachings. Sora's journey from a young seeker to becoming a teacher and guide for others reflected the very essence of the bamboo teaching, an internal growth that, in time, manifests as a strong and positive influence on the outside world. His journey had shown that through patience, perseverance, and dedication to spiritual practice, one can achieve not just personal transformation, but also inspire others to find their own path to peace and enlightenment. As the sun set, bathing the monastery in golden and red hues, Sora sat in the Zen garden reflecting on his journey. The silence of the evening reminded him that, although he had come far, his journey was far from over. Each day offered new lessons and opportunities for growth, and in this eternal cycle of learning and teaching, Sora found his true calling. Don't forget to subscribe to Monk's Wisdom for more empowering videos, and if you liked this story, I invite you to watch Relationship Between Breathing and the Mind. Five Secrets of Breathing, Zen History. These stories transform your journey towards a bolder, more confident life, surrounded by good moments. Until next time.